What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and I feel like you can't see my face at all today. We are at Funcon and that's this big white tent behind me. This is where all the magic is happening and I'm about to go inside and check everything out. I'm gonna get some pops, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you guys the whole show. This is the Funcon experience that you're about to check out right now. Uh, and uh, well, here we are, let's go inside. So essentially there were a lot of games played. I mean, this is kind of like a discount version of Fun Days, if you want to call it that. More felt like a cheap carnival show, but still a lot of people had fun and like I said, games galore where pretty much everyone was winning something and most people were winning a prototype. What is your name? So here we go. Jagger, take your first attempt. Oh, so close. I'm gonna give you a tip. All right, you're aiming for the hole. So as you can see, even when the kid misses the hole, Adam here just puts it in the hole so he wins a prototype. And there are various games hosted by Ashley, Hillary, Adam here, and obviously... Give it up for Fun Maker Mike! Yeah! Are you ready to rock? So obviously Mike had like the biggest amount of games. He was doing trivia, he was doing air guitar, he was making people dance and all of these folks won prototypes. It was actually pretty fun for them and a lot of engagement with the crowd. Everything was pretty cool and that lasted for about an hour maybe. I don't know, I lost track of time during the whole thing, but it was fun. It was just a little lacking in substance for me personally, but after everything was done and over with, after everybody got all their prizes and stuff, they filed us out single file and we walked over to the Hollywood store to be able to pick up some of the exclusives that they were offering for that day. Now here's where things get a little bit salty for some people. They didn't have all the exclusives at the event. They actually had different exclusives Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which wasn't really made aware to everyone. We made it into FunCon. I'm, I'm out now an exclusive pop apparently. Uh, so we just finished um, with the whole experience back in the tent over there and we are walking in to pick up some pops, it looks like oh, over here. Running. Yes, please. So essentially after you pick up the exclusives, you get to walk around the store for about an hour and I actually got a special chance to check out something I've been looking forward to for a while. All right, so we're going into the TARDIS in the cool door. Here we go. Go, 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 go. In and out. Here is the secret room. And that was pretty much it. I mean, after that, you walk to checkout, you pay for your stuff, and you leave. The whole thing was maybe two hours. Here with the Proto Punk. Just finished up uh, shopping here at Funko Hollywood. Got all my goodies in the bag. Got the Proto Punk right here. Who's on Team Proto Punk? Let me know. And, well, that's the FunCon experience. I mean, in a nutshell, you, you kind of get the point. There was a lot of games, a lot of fun. It was a little lacking and in some ways deceptive towards what fans were going to have access to, but overall, you know, it was cool. And I got a chance to check out Pop Peoples for the very first time. So I walked back across the street to the Pop Peoples booth and made one. All right, so right now, I am going to build a Pop People. It's my first time, so. I don't know what to expect, but let's check it out. Yeah. How many do you want to make? One or two? So I just write down what yeah, which so numbers? Yeah, so letters on here correspond with letters on here. So if you wanted H01, you would just write 01 right after the H there. Okay. Super straightforward. All right, so essentially how this works is we have a little checklist here 
where we can make pop peoples. And it's kind of like a like a vending machine. <laughs> so you got your little boxes here for like the head and the hair and the hat. And you have little numbers here. You fill in the clipboard here with the corresponding numbers of like each part that you want. And essentially, you can see here like we have head, glasses, facial hair, hair, hat, torso, legs, tuck, suit, and accessories. And then we have just a slew of different heads and stuff to make. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try my best to make myself here at the, the pop people stand. Oh my gosh, there's so many bodies and stuff. This is crazy. I think this one might be good for me, B18. That one looks like it's, it's probably me. All right, so next up we have hats and hairstyles. And I, I think you already know what I'm, what I'm gonna go for. Right there in the middle, C04. All right, so here are the torsos. I have to select a torso. And we have stuff like suits and uh, tank tops, shorts and stuff. I think though, for me, I think that one might be a win for me. T52, and so I'm just gonna write that in under torso right here. Now, of course, we have legs as well. And as far as the legs go, I think, I think I'm gonna keep it simple and just do, oh, well the black pants are out. So I can't do black pants. I think I'm gonna go with uh, these L38, these like stained jeans. I'm actually wearing white shoes and jeans that kind of look like that anyway. So I think L38 is a good move. Now the last thing here that you get to select are two accessories. So they have these tiny, tiny little accessories all over the bottom here. Like they have like an ice cream cone or a cupcake, um, like so many random things. And I think, I think I know what I'm gonna go for. And that is the process. I have my pop peoples ready. There's so many things to choose from. Like literally you walk around this board and there's just like dozens of choices. It makes it really difficult to lock something down. But um, now that I'm done with this, I have everything written down. And I just gotta turn it in right over there. So it's already like the, the end of my day basically, but I got the Pop Peoples made, so I have to go into the Hollywood store to pay for them and pick them up. Um, so I'm gonna go in there, probably walk around a little bit, scope things out a little more, and then get my Pop People on, because I'm super excited to see how they turned out. All right, y'all, I am completely beat. Like, I've been running around all day, and I got a bunch of exclusives to show you. I got some Pop People to show you. I have just so many fun things. Blacklight posters. <laughs> anyway, um, let's, let's get out of here, out of, out of Hollywood. I just had to come in here to grab a couple of things and, uh, or it, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but <laughs> I'm gonna leave here and then we'll go check out the exclusives that I got. Kind of give you a little haul, a little peek at things. And uh, yeah, here we go, let's go. All right, so I finally paid. I got caught walking around in there a little too long, but I get to trade in these tickets to the people right behind me and pick up my pop people. Hi, I'm here to pick oh, up. Okay, so what we got here? We got 80. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Bam, so we got one. Awesome. We got two. Cool, thank you. Of course. All right, secured the bag, quite literally. <laughs> All right, so we are out of there and I'm gonna go show you everything that I got. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this haul. There's so much stuff. I'm walking to my car right now. We're gonna take off. I think I'm gonna get some lunch because it's lunchtime and I've been here since like 7.30. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and uh, see you soon. All right, all right. So here's the deal. We are back now and I am gonna go through uh, the pops that I got. Yes, I'm wearing a different outfit because it's a different day. Things are a little shuffled around in this video, but I wanted to give you the full experience and this is the part of the experience where I am back and going through uh, some of the things that I got. Now, um, I did pick up uh, all of the stuff that was there on Wednesday. Wednesday, there were only four pops available and Thursday, there were seven pops available with also a soda, a Funko soda, the Thor soda which was kind of messed up for the people on Wednesday. And then Friday, they had even more stuff, but also less stuff, which is kind of hard to explain. But the one thing that was consistent every single day that was there is this limited 
uh, edition, 2,000 pieces. Uh, this is Jack in the tracksuit. Uh, we never asked for this pop, but we got it. And I don't know if this is exactly 2,000 pieces. I have no idea. They were giving this away on the Jack in the Box Discord uh, without a sticker, actually. So I don't know how this adds up. By the way, this is a new Funko stack. I've actually never seen them before. Guess what? They glued the bottom on. So like it doesn't, your pop won't just fall out of the bottom. I mean, it can still fall out of the top, but these feel like a much better product than the original ones they had. And like I said, the, the bottom is just like stuck there. So that's good. We have Jack and I have some footage um, of some of these that I took over at Bands for Arms when I was there. But uh, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Okay. So Moving on with our Jack pop, um, that's fine and all. Uh, another super cool pop here that ad, -icon, ad icon collectors might like is Smaxi the Seal. So this is Smaxi the Seal right here. And uh, all my other pops have the summer convention sticker on them. The only one that doesn't is Jack. But Smaxi the Seal, something I never thought I needed in my life, but it is kind of cute. So I don't know. I also picked up the Rocketeer. Now this wasn't too much of a favorite um, at, at Funko. In fact, they had one left when, uh, um, they had one left late this afternoon, Friday afternoon, and it was just sitting there and they were literally trying to give it to people. They're like, hey, do you want this Rocketeer pop? But there's one left. And like everybody was just passing on it. So. This is the Rocketeer. Um, he is in like a flight pose in a flight stand, which is pretty cool. And uh, we also have the summer convention sticker on it. I was hoping that the Jack Pop would have the tiny little sticker that we got on, on, on the Jack in the Box Pop for San Diego Comic-Con, but uh, well, you know, whatever, not a big deal. All right, next here we have the Blacklight White Rabbit. And let me just get this out of this cheap pop protector. Um, this is the Blacklight White Rabbit. I dig it and it looks pretty nice. And on the back there, you can see all the other characters from the Blacklight Collection. So this is from the Alice in Wonderland Blacklight Collection. Now, what's interesting about this pop right here is we figured out that this was the only pop that came in a sorter at the event. And if you look very closely on the sorter, it says that it is street dated or was street dated for July 22nd. Now, what's interesting about that date is it's very, very close to the date that the Blacklight Alice in Wonderland Pops dropped. So I don't think that this was originally intended for Funcon. I actually don't think any of these were originally intended for Funcon, and they just kind of threw this together. But especially this one, because it was street dated at one point, according to the sorter that it came in, and I think that it was gonna be a Target exclusive. Just my opinion, don't know if I'm right, but it's food for thought. So. Uh, next here we have, this is Danger Mouse. This is the 40th anniversary pop of Danger Mouse here. And you can see the back side of the box where it actually says 40th on the back there. And uh, yeah, it's Danger Mouse. And then we also had from today, Nubia. So this one is pretty nice. Part of the Wonder Woman collection here. You can see it's got a really cool look to it. Really cool looking pop in my opinion. Um, really sweet. I am a big fan of this one for sure. The other thing that we had there were these little nuggets. These are Funko sodas, specifically Thor. These are Thor Funko sodas. If you haven't seen this or you weren't aware that this was a thing, if you don't know, now you know. We're gonna take a little break in the hall, open up some sodas real quick, see if I get the chase. That would be cool. I'm just going to set the can aside. Here we go. Nope, did not get the chase. This is the common. These cool though, I dig them. These smell so vinyl-y. Okay, so we have one more soda to open. Maybe we'll get a chase on the second one. Oh, and here, if you're curious, the Pog. We have one in uh, 12,500. It's a pretty big number. They were allowing two per, so. That was cool. I figured, hey, might as well up my chances of getting a soda chase. These don't actually have any sticker on them, but the sticker is on the plastic. Another indication 
that this was not meant for this con. Bust this open here. Let's see what we got. Is this the chase? We'll find out. Did we get it? Ah, no, we did not. All right, so next up we have Mubi's mascot. Now this is Jay, Jay and Silent Bob Pop, and it's actually an ad icon, but I think it's not even a real ad icon. Like it's fake. It's a fake restaurant, isn't it? I don't think Mubi's is a real restaurant, so it seems kind of weird that we would make this an actual ad icon, but it is number 137 in the ad icon lineup. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a cute character if you're a big fan of Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, we do have one other pop, which I'm on the fence about these pops so far. I don't have any of them currently, um, but this is the Martian Manhunter um, pop where they're uh, Imperial, Imperial style pops. So basically what you saw there are all of the pops that I got from Funko Hollywood uh, as far as convention exclusives and if you spent a hundred dollars you actually got a pop pin um, And this says fun days 2020 game so you can tell how dated this is These pins came free if you spent a hundred dollars and what's cool about that is free pin, but these pins are also limited to 500 pieces um, and it's just written on the back there uh, behind it. It says that it's a limited edition to 500. It's engraved on the pin. Now this is Freddy playing soccer or holding a soccer ball under his feet. Cool, so cool, um, but it, it was free and that's even more cool because it wasn't that hard to spend $100 at Funko Hollywood. Uh, obviously never hard, um, but you get it for free and it's got a cool box. It reminds me of Wheaties. Almost, is that intentional maybe? I, I don't know. So now that you've seen that, let me bring out the magic here. This is me as a pop. And I have a custom pop of myself, but the pop people stuff is, is a lot different and it's really cool. I actually was really impressed by the process. Um, you can see that it more or less looks like me. I'm holding an ice cream cone and a cupcake because that's, you know, awesome. And then we also have a pop that I made for Melissa right here. Um, and she's holding a, uh, a Wizarding World wand and a coffee cup. What a week FunCon has been. There's been some ups, there's been some downs, but overall, I think that it could have been done better. Um, there wasn't a lot of substance there. And coming from the company that puts on fun days every year and they coordinate much more high level stuff that was happening at FunCon. We're talking about a catered dinner. We're talking about uh, a, an unlimited number of games, 1600 people. Um, this was nothing like that. And I understand there are a lot of restrictions here, so I'm not gonna like crap on the situation too much, but I feel like what I said earlier is probably an accurate representation that the tent thing just felt like a cheap carnival show. Um, and really it was just a mechanism so that they could hoard traffic of people for a moment while Hollywood let you let the other people buy exclusive so that there wasn't just that many people. It would, the line would be around the block. And so they did a, the formation they did inside of the tent made it much easier for them to cram a lot of people into the tent, entertain them for about an hour or so, and then send them off to Hollywood where they would then be their turn in the queue to buy exclusives. Um, the people management, the crowd management was, I think it was pretty, pretty good, but everything else was just kind of shoddy. Different pops on different days. Other days had more pops than, than the, the one before it. It was just, I think that a lot of people are salty about that. And there's nothing we can do about that, but learn for it and learn from it and move forward. But that being said, did you go to FunCon? Did you have a good time? I, I really need to know. Um, so definitely let me know that in the comment section. And now let me return you to me outside. All right, my friends, we came, we saw, we popped and we conquered. Um, this has been a day, it's been a long day. But as you can see, Funko Hollywood right there. All the, all the FunCon stuff is happening way down there, but I'm about to get out of here. I'm super tired. 
I appreciate you guys watching though. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to hit the thumbs up button because it helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel so you can see more FunCon experiences if this ever happens again. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I hear yesterday was a lot worse than today, but you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about uh, everything that I got down in the comment section. And uh, big shout out to the Patreon members, Box Attack Army. If you wanna join up with that, Hit the link down below. Try to pull that like button along with the link to the Box Attack Facebook group. So I really appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.